farmers in Victoria are being warned they're running out of time to exterminate locusts. Recent flooding has had little impact on their numbers and this week is crucial. It's the last chance for farmers to spray the new generation of insects while they're small and vulnerable. Kerry Ritchie reports. Harvest is over for another year for Chris Douglas. While he was busy on the header, locusts weren't a priority and now he thinks it's too late to spray. We probably missed the boat with the smaller stage because they obviously hatched while we were busy uh, with our harvest and with such a, uh, a wet affected harvest it was longer and we didn't have the time and they sort of snuck up on us. Luckily the locusts aren't nearly as bad as they were in September. Chris Douglas was the first Victorian farmer to report a hatching and the ABC visited his property when it was crawling with the insects. The DPI says locust numbers are high from Horsham to Wodonga and only a small amount were washed away in the recent floods. During the floods, anecdotes have a bit emerged of uh, people seeing hoppers that have uh, climbed up onto sandbags uh, in areas that are totally inundated. The DPI says farmers must spray this week to kill this second generation of locusts, which are at the hopper stage. Now, we understand farmers have had a lot on their plate recently and they continue to have a lot on their plate with floods and all sorts of other impacts. But it really is worth focusing on the locusts whilst they're still vulnerable so to protect, protect uh, themselves from having that problem in the future with the swarms. The DPI says if people don't spray now, they could face problems in spring. But Chris Douglas understands why some farmers might be a bit blasé. The difference is all that, all that wheat's off the paddocks and it's in, a, in the silos and in the bank, so there isn't that stress. The DPI has sent a text message to thousands of Victorian farmers telling them they must act now. Kerry Ritchie, ABC News, Melbourne.